Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 6 and 7 of figure it out given on page number 53. We have already completed question number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So these are the last two questions which are left which we are going to do now. Let's get started with question number 6. The Ashoka Chakra has 24 spokes. What is the degree measure of the angle between two spokes next to each other? What is the largest acute angle formed between two spokes? We can see the Ashoka Chakra in our Indian flag. This is the Indian flag and you can see here this is the Ashoka Chakra. Now these are the spokes. Okay, these are the spokes. If you count these spokes, you will find there are 24 spokes. There are 24 spokes. Okay, now we need to find out the angle measure between two spokes next to each other. That means, suppose I am taking this spoke this one and this one what is this angle here okay or this angle any two spokes you can take only two spokes and find out the angle measure and that is going to be of equal measure because these are equally spaced okay now how do we find out this is a complete circle this thing is a complete circle and it is divided into 24 spokes right so we can say that angle between two spokes next to each other is equal to 360 degrees divided by 24. This is the complete angle and it is divided into 24 spokes. So, this will give us the angle measure between any two spokes. Now, how do we divide this? First, we will divide by 6, divided by 6, divided by 6. What do we get? 360 divided by 6 is 60, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Now we can do division, 4 ones are 4, 20, 4 fives are 20, so that's 15 degrees. Next part of the question is, what is the largest acute angle formed between two spokes? So if you see the Ashoka Chakra here, this line here and this line forms a 90 degree angle, this line and this line, so in between these two we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 spokes, right? So now if this is 15 degrees, this is 15, then this will be 15 into 2, 30. 15 threes are 45. 15 fours are 60. 15 fives are 75. And if I do 15 into 6, that will be 90. So we don't want the 90 degree angle. We want an acute angle. That means less than 90 degrees. So we can take this measure, which is between this spoke here, this spoke and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will write largest acute angle is equal to 5 into 15 degrees which is equal to 75 degrees. And this 75 degrees angle is forming between this line here. I am taking this as one of the rays and this one as one of the rays. So that will be 75 degrees. Hope this is clear to you. The next question is a puzzle. I am an acute angle. If you double my measure, you get an acute angle. If you triple my measure, you will get an acute angle again. If you quadruple, that is four times my measure, you will get an acute angle yet again. But if you multiply my measure by five, you will get an obtuse angle measure. What are the possibilities for my measure? Let the measure of the angle be x. Now the first condition is if you double my measure that is 2 times x is less than 90 degrees. So now if I divide both sides by 2 like 2x divided by 2 and 90 degrees divided by 2. Here 2, 2 cancels out. x is less than 45 degrees. This is the first condition. That means my angle is less than 45 degrees. The second condition is if you triple my measure you will get an acute angle again. So if I take 3x, 3 into x means triple the measure of the angle that is also less than 90 degrees. Same way we will do 3x divided by 3, divide both sides by 3, 3 3 cancels out, 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3 and we get x less than 30 degrees. So that means the angle is less than 30 degrees also. Next condition is 
if you quadruple that is four times the measure four into the angle again it is less than 90 degrees so divide both sides by four four ones are four four ones are four so x is less than 90 divided by four 90 divided by four four two is eight ten four two is eight two 20.5 20 so when I divide 90 by 4 I get 22.5 which means the angle is less than 22.5 degrees three conditions we have seen first it is less than 45 it is also less than 30 it is also less than 22.5 that means the angle is less than 22.5 degrees and the last condition is that if I multiply my angle by 5 5 times the angle is an obtuse angle that means it's greater than 90 degrees so again we will divide both sides this time by 5 5 5 cancels out 5 ones are 5 4 down 40 8 fives are 40 so this means the angle should be greater than 18 degrees and it should be less than 22.5 degrees any angle which is between 18 degrees and 22.5 degrees would be our answer. So angle is greater than 18 degrees and less than 22.5 degrees. Right? Now what are the angles that we can have in between? We can have 19 degrees, 20 degrees, 21 degrees, 22 degrees. Also we can have something like 19.5, 19.3 or 20 point something, 21 point something. So these are all the possibilities. Any angle between 18 degrees and 22.5 degrees. Greater than 18 like starting from 18.1 degrees to 22.4 degrees. That would be your answer. Again there is no fixed answer for this. Maybe you can have a different answer like say 19.5 degrees, 20.3 degrees. 21.7 degrees, uh, 22.4 degrees. This could be also your answer because it lies between 18 degrees that is greater than 18 and less than 22.5. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.